Finally. Was wondering when you get back. Don't. Put your hands up. You heard me. Hands up. Now. Do you think I'm stupid? I know just how fast you can reach your iron. Hands above your head, smartass. There you go. See? Now that wasn't that hard, was it? Now turn around and face me. And keep your hands right there. What? Surprised to see me? <laughs> it's been a while, Gearbrain. Did you miss me? Oh, how mean. Well, I miss you. Come on now. That's no way to create an old friend. Who said anything about me needing something from you, huh? Can't I just stop by to say hello? No? <laughs> if nothing else, your instincts are spot on. I'm not here just for the fun of it, Ashley. I'm here on business. Yeah, business. Well, you remember what I do for a living, don't you? I mean, how can you not? You hired me to bodyguard you for... Oh, what was it? Ah, uh, right. For five years. That should have been long enough for you to understand what I do. No, actually. I'm not. Just some guard dog. In fact, I've never played guard dog for anyone except you. Which is actually pretty sad when you think about it. Well... The genius weaponsmith, a terrifyingly smart inventor of blades, irons, and everything in between. Can't even use those weapons to scare off the people who wound up dead. <laughs> Luckily, I've gotten more interesting jobs since you decided you didn't need me. Unfortunately for you, this right here is one of those jobs. What? Were you expecting something else? Did you think I would come crawling back to you? Ready to beg on my hands and knees for you to take me back? <laughs> Maybe in your dreams, but no. I came here because I took a contract that just so happens to involve you. You and that dirty little secrets you've been keeping. Or that you've been trying to keep and evidently doing a piss poor job of it. Well, if you've been doing good at keeping it a secret, I wouldn't be here now, would I? But when I was offered the contract, my employer already knew everything about it. So, clearly, you didn't do a great job. Yeah, everything. The blueprints, the prototype, the thermal capabilities. They knew all about it. It makes me wonder... Just who did you trust with that information? As far as I knew, I had been the only person you told me about those things. You know, back when I was your guard dog. Oh, I know. You must have found some other bodyguard to tell your secrets to after you kicked me to the curb. Found some other gun for hire to keep you company and listen to all your weapons babble. After all... You can't keep this up alone. You need someone to watch your back when you're out there. You can stay nice and protected in here. This workshop is rigged with so many traps that it may as well be a torture chamber for anybody else. But outside this place, when you're out in the world, trying to make deals and get the materials you need, out there, you need someone. You need a bodyguard. You need a gun like me. Look at how that turned out for you. You trusted the first no-name you found, and they went and sold you out. Now your project has been leaked to every big names on the black market. You've got a target on your back, and people gunning for your head. Even worse is that now you don't even have a guard dog. No one to protect you. Not even me. And that's a big problem for you. You want to know why? Because I'm... I'm the one who they sent after you. 
and I know you better than anyone. <laughs> oh, but I do. How else would I have gotten in here without one of your traps killing me, huh? Because you, you told me. You told me about all about this workshop, about what you do here, about your projects. I know all about your work, Gear Brain. And I know all about you. Mm-hmm, I do. You can try to deny it all you want, but I know you like the back of my hand. And because I know you, I know that you're way too smart to leave that prototype just lying around. Even as locked up as you've got the place, you know it's not safe to leave a weapon like that alone. Anyone with the right skills could break in and steal it. Awful paranoid, aren't you? Not many people have those skills, you know. You've always been a type to think that something is only safe when you can see it. Which means... <laughs> you have it on you, don't you? <sighs> Sweet little gear brain. You don't even need to say anything. I can see it on your face. So where is it, hmm? In your bag? Got it in a holster somewhere on you? Not gonna talk? Tch. Can't say I expected you to, but you're not making this any easier. Shut up and toss me the bag. Hey, be careful with how you're talking. I'm the one with the iron here, and you, of all people, should know damn well that I don't miss. Now, give me the bag. Don't. Use one hand. Keep the other in the air. I don't care if that makes it harder. I'm not stupid enough to let you move both hands out of sight. Now set it on the ground. Slowly. Kick it over to me. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not in here, huh? Figures. You're too smart to do that. So, where is it? Don't just shrug. Tell me where it is. You just can't make this easy, can you? God, you're such a pain in the ass. Do you really have to be so damn headstrong? Yeah, I do admire it, but not when you're using it against me. <sighs> you know what? Fine. If you don't want to do this the easy way, we sure as hell don't have to. <clears throat> All right, there we go. <sighs> Much easier to make sure you're being the problem when I've got you pinned. Now, let's see here. Hmm. If I were a prototype of a gun with hellishly destructive abilities, where would I be? <laughs> well, obviously nowhere in plain sight. Since I'm an electricity-based gun that can discharge enough voltage to kill anything in spitting distance. Somewhere secure too. Wouldn't exactly go over well for something like that to fall out of your pocket, would it? Fortunately for both of us, I know exactly where you keep your iron. Put your jackets on. Head out of the gutter, smartass. I'm checking for a holster. Now pull your jacket up. One hand. Keep the other up. Come on, we've been through this. There we go. Not so hard, was it? Okay. No holster on your leg. On either leg. Huh. Now what's with that? What I mean is that you always used to keep your iron strapped to your leg. You said it made it easier to carry since you're 
tool belt would get in the way of a normal holster. You always had it on. What you changed it for? Still hurts? What do you mean? Hold on. That sounds like... Wait. Shit. The new Merce you hired. Did they... <sighs> they torture you. That's why they know everything. You didn't tell them because you trusted them. They forced you into telling them about the prototype. Then they sold everything off the highest bidder. That's why they hired me, I bet. They probably figure out that after you toss me out that I want you dead and that I'd kill- <coughs> Fuck, you little- <sighs> Smart move disarming me like that, Gearbrain. But don't think that I only brought one weapon. Remember this fun little toy you gave me? <laughs> Beautiful little piece of work, even by your standards. Durable metal, a nice serrated edge, and best of all, a thermal component that burns hot enough to caterize everything I cut. Works real nice for a merce like me. A blade that cuts and tears like it came from hell and then burns them so they couldn't heal right if they tried. No easier way to kill a target than that. How you manage to get a thermal component into a blade like this is still beyond me. That's why you're a genius, right, Gearbrain? Uh, uh, uh. Back against the wall. I just told you how effective this pretty demon of a blade is. How you made it. You already know how dangerous it is. Do you really want to experience that firsthand? Good choice. Now. Where were we? Well, it's pretty clear that the prototype is under your jacket, so you need to take it off. And since I have to keep reminding you, one hand. Don't need you trying anything funny. Yeah, really. Go on. Take it off. <sighs> What's taking so long? It can't possibly be that hard. Really? Can't just get the zipper down? Tell me you're joking. Well, get it unstuck. No, absolutely not. One hand. Then keep trying. God, you're taking too long. Move your hand, I'll do it. Fuck. Fuck, that hurt. Damn it. Gabriel, that was... <laughs> that was just like I taught you. God, I can't believe I fell for that. Didn't think you remembered anything I showed you. Well, yeah, I can see that now. Obviously, I was mistaken. But it's not like it matters. Guess what are you going to do, huh? Sure, you got me pinned. You even got me unharmed. But what now? What's your move? <laughs> you have no idea what to do next, do you? Didn't plan this far ahead. <sighs> Shit! You just fucking cut me? You are a piece of work, you know that? No, the knife is a beautiful piece of work. You're just a piece of work. No sweet words around it. <sighs> sure, you're smart, but that's not a compliment, is it? It's just fact. Not exactly a good one either, is it? Look at where it's gotten you. <laughs> you're the one holding the knife right now. But you possibly can't think that this is going to end with you winning. You might have strength and stamina for making all your fun little weapons, 
But in terms of training, you only have what I taught you. Yeah, sure. You could hold your own in a scrap with some punk at a bar, but I'm a professional. At the end of the day, even if you can get a few good hits in, you aren't winning this. <laughs> oh, you think so? <laughs> Then give it your best shot. Doesn't matter what you do because you're going to have to drop your guard eventually. When you do, I'm going to take that prototype, and I'm going to go back to the buyer, get the money from that contract, and be done with all of this. <laughs> questions? What's asking me questions going to do? It's not going to change anything. <sighs> Actually, why not? Sure, fine. Whatever. It's not like I've got anywhere else to be. Ass away. Some airhead weapons dealer with a huge network and a deep wallet. Does it really matter what their name is? There's so many people after you and your work that it could be anyone involved in the black market dealings. Well, if you really want to know. It was someone who called themselves Red Light. I don't know their real names or what they look like. They didn't care to meet face to face when they hired me. Just sent some terrified lackey to make the initial contact, and every time after that, they just called me. And what about it? I'm a mercenary. I take weird contracts from annoying people all the time. It's not like this is anything new. <laughs> What's it matter to you, huh? Why does it matter that I took some asshole's contract? All you should care about right now is that I am here for your gun and your head. You should be trying to figure out how to get out of that situation instead of asking these stupid questions. It's just going to make it more fun to kill you when I get my chance. <laughs> Why am I so mad at you? You really asking me that? <laughs> I'm mad because I was your bodyguard for years, and you kicked me out without any warning. You just pushed me out of your life like I was fucking nothing. Of course, I'm pissed at you. Thankful? Fucking thankful? What I would be thankful that you pushed me away. You left me. Worse than that, you made me leave you. What about that would make me happy, huh? Do you know how much it hurt? Do you know what that felt like to be pushed aside like I never even mattered to you? I spent every day wondering what I did wrong, wondering if I did something that hurt you. I don't even know what I did, but every single day I wonder if I ask you to forgive me, if you would take me back. There have been nights where I couldn't sleep because I couldn't stop thinking about what went wrong and how I could fix it. Fuck! That's why I'm here right now. You ask me why I took some random jackass contract? You really want to know why I took this contract, huh? You want to know why I decided to hunt you down? Why I wanted to find you again even after you pushed me out of your life? Why I'm doing all of this? Because I have to know why. Why did you make me leave you? After all that time, after everything we'd been through, you just told me to get out. Why? Did you do something? Was it not good enough? Did you not want me around anymore? What was it, Kiebre? What made you hate me? Answer me! <laughs> What? You don't have an answer. You can't tell me why you hate me. You can't even give me that. Of course not. I don't even know what I expected. I was a goddamn idiot for for fucking expecting anything at all.
<laughs> when did I say that? When did I say that I hate you? <laughs> Gear brain. When do you remember me telling you that? That's because I never did. I would never say that. I didn't. I didn't back when I was your bodyguard. I didn't on the night you turned me away like a stray dog. And I didn't any of the days after that. There wasn't a single day, even in the days where I was alone and cold and so fucking lost without you. That I ever said that I hated you. Because I never meant it. Even on my worst nights, I couldn't bring myself to even think about hating you. I would think about how much it hurt that you would cut me out of your life. And about how mad I was that you would push me away like you weren't the one who rescued me first. After all, you were the one who helped me up from the curb and patched me up when my old team tried to kill me. You. You were the one who sewed me up and tried to heal the scars that your stitches left. You were the one who suggested that I take a job as your bodyguard so I would have somewhere to stay. But I never hated you. How could I even begin to hate you? You can't use hate to replace feelings that are already there. Not even when you're hurt and angry and aching to go back to how it was. What do I mean? What do you think I mean? Come on, you're the genius here. Haven't you figured it out yet? <laughs> and to think that I spent so many nights wide awake, terrified that the reason you kicked me out was that you knew the truth. You have never been good with people, have you? You never realized why I stayed beside you for so long. Even when I could have been doing anything else. But I never wanted to do anything else. I wanted to stay at your side. I wanted to do anything you needed me to. Anything you wanted me to. I would have done everything for you. All you ever had to do was just ask. I would have died for you if you asked me to. And you know why? Because I love you. And honestly, I still fucking love you. Even after all this time, I love you like I never left you. I love you just as much right now as I did when I took my first bullet for you. And I love you just as much right now as I will for the rest of my life. Got that, Gear Brain? I love you. <laughs> what? Did you not hear me? Or do you just not understand what I mean? Because that's as easy as I can make this for you. I love you. Plain and simple. Nothing more, nothing less, and nothing else. I don't hate you because I could never hate you. I have only ever, and will only ever, love you. So, what are you going to do about- Wait, what are you- What was- Why did you do that? You don't mean that. You can't mean that. You- You don't love me. How can you say that? How can you look me in the eyes and tell me that you love me after all of that? Then why did you do it? Why did you tell me to leave? 
If you love me, then why would you hurt me like that? Of course there were times I got hurt. I was your bodyguard. Not a porcelain doll that followed you around. My entire job was to protect you. And you aren't exactly a toy maker. You make highly dangerous weapons that the entire world wants to get their hands on. They'll do it by any means necessary. A few scratches here and they're going to happen. Wait. Stop. What was that? What did you just say? <laughs> you think that you put a target on my back just by having me as your bodyguard? <laughs> well, yeah, obviously it did. There was no chance of me being associated with you and not being put in the crosshairs of every enemy you already had. And it's not like I didn't have any enemies before I met you. So, yeah, I had my fair share of dangers grabbing at my throat. I just didn't care. It never mattered. Because I love you. And all of the danger that comes with you doesn't mean I love you less. I couldn't give less of a shit about the enemies, or the shootouts, or the misfires and lab accidents. I love you. And I don't care if I have to take a few more bullets and knives because of it. If it's to protect you and to stay with you, then it's all worth it. Of course you're worth it. Hell, I'm still here right now, aren't I? You're worth more than any contract, any weapon, any amount of money. You're worth every bit of pain I've been through. And so much more because just the thought of you makes me happy enough to forget every time I cried. You're worth standing here, risking my heart being broken again. You, my love for you, is worth more than the fucking world. How many times do I have to tell you the same damn thing? I don't care what happens. I'm here to stay. I don't care if I get hurt or if I bleed or if I cry or anything else. So long as I'm with you. It's all worth it. As long as I get to stand by your side and know that my heart beats in time with yours. Now, can you please get that through that thick skull of yours? <laughs> Good. Now that you're done being dense and I'm done trying to fill this stupid contract, let's put all of this painful stuff down for a bit and focus on something a bit nicer. Can we please kiss again? Because that first one was a few years late, and we've got some time to make up for it. Come here. Mm. Never made me leave you again, Gearbrain. I don't know if I'll be able to handle it if you do. Of course I will. I'm your guard dog, remember? Where you go, I go. No exceptions. From here on out, it's you and me, together, like we should be. <laughs>